Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another Notepad++ tip. In this video, we'll learn how to open a really large file in Notepad++. Now, these files can be a CSV or JSON or any sort of text file. And we are not talking about few megabyte worth of file, uh, but just a gigabytes of data. Uh, so, if you try to open these really large file, let's say, you know, more than two or four gigabyte file, Usually, if you try to open that in Notepad or Notepad++, you will get this error, file is too big. So let me just quickly show you the error. I have a Notepad++ open, and I have a really large file, a JSON file. This is about 6 gigabyte, as you can see here. If I try to open this, I'm going to get this error, file is too big to open in Notepad++. And I think same thing will apply to Notepad as well. Uh, it will not be able to open this large file. And so, how can we solve this issue, right? Uh, so, from what we know, usually Notepad++ can support up to 2 gigabyte, uh, and even for that kind of a file, it may be, you know, it, it may hang. Uh, when we talk about Microsoft Notepad, it can barely handle more than 512 megabyte of text file. And so, there is a way to actually open these files in Notepad++, and for that, we will need to install a plugin called Big Files. Now, as it says, it actually is able to read a really large set of files. And the way in which it does is by showing only a small chunk or buffer of a file. And so it allows users to just, you know, go back between this buffer of data. And so that's how it is able to open a really large file, like a six gigabyte file that we just tried. Now, it is very fast. Uh, to open. Uh, there are other tools which we'll talk a little later which can open these files but it takes a long time to load these files because those tools are trying to open the entire file uh, right at the beginning and that can take you know more than a few minutes depending upon how large is your file. Okay so Big Files plugin actually solves this issue by not trying to open everything right at the one right at once. All right. So let's see how we can install this big file plugin. And so installation is actually pretty simple. So if you go to Notepad++, uh, go to Plugins, and go to Plugin Admins, and just search for big file. And it should show up right here. As you can see, big files open a very large file. If you would like to learn more about this, uh, this plugin, you can even browse to this GitHub page that can give you more information about it. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click install. And Notepad++ should restart. Now, when you open uh, or when you install this plugin, you may get a notification of an a config file that may be created in your Notepad++ uh, app data folder. So just click OK or just say yes if, if it does ask you. Uh, since I have tried this before, probably it didn't show me that, that message. But now, if you go to plugins, right here I have installed big files plugin. Okay, So let's go back to our documentation. So we just installed a big files plugin. Now how to open a large file? Now that's where it's a little different from a typical way to open uh, a file in Notepad++. In order to open a really large set of file, a large file, you don't need to go to file and open, but you have to go to plugins, big files, and open big file. Okay, so we'll try the, the file that we just tried. All right, so here is the JSON file, which I'm going to try to open and click open. And you can see that it is able to open this six gigabyte of file instantaneously. Now, there are a few things that we need to really understand about this uh, this way of opening a file. Now, as I mentioned, this uh, plugin opens this file in buffers. And so right at the bottom, you can see some of the information. And so it is opening a part or a chunk of this entire file. Uh, and it is going to sort of divide that into about 1900 chunks. And that's what it's trying to do. Um, there are about 1100 lines. You can increase these, uh, and we'll learn how to do that a little later. But if you see, the file is not actually open. It's just the chunk of the file that is open. Now, you can always, you know, browse through this, this data. If you would like to go to the top or, or at the bottom 
of this entire file you can go to plugins go to big data and right here there are some options one is move to the start and the other is move to the end so let's say you have a json file and you would like to see right at the end the last line right so as i click on this notice what will happen here okay so i'm going to go to big data or a big file and move to the end and as you can see what it just did is it opened the last chunk or buffer of that file i can go to control and end and this is the last basically the last line now the line number is a little misleading here because that's not the total number of lines it is only that particular last buffer number of lines so it is little misleading or confusing but once you get used to it it is uh, pretty obvious now if i want to go back to the top of this entire json file i can go to plugins go to big files and move to the start and again if you notice that page it shows right here page one and so now we are right at the beginning of the page so i'm going to actually open sublime text which is also another uh, pretty good tool actually and i'm going to try to open the same file in here okay so i'll go here and it's trying to open this file and and i just want to demonstrate how long does it take uh, for for sublime text or any other text editor to open this file and how quick it is to open the same file using this plugin even though it is not opening the entire file but often when you're looking for a really large file you don't want to see the entire file uh, you just want to see certain part of the files okay so let's go back to our documentation so we know how to open the file which is a little different than usual let's go to the settings so now there are certain settings that you can change uh, with this plugin so let's go back here go to plugins go to big files and change config right so it does allow you a few configuration or settings to change one of them is the page size or the buffer size in terms of bytes now if you remember uh, we had about 1908 buffers for that particular file which was six gigabyte uh, in size now you can change these bytes to change the buffer size now you have to be careful when you don't make it too big that again notepad plus plus would not be able to handle and so i'm going to reduce it by one so it is one two three four five so it's like a million bytes you can convert it into you know kilobyte or megabyte uh, and i'm going to save this and I'm going to try to open the same file one more time. Now, if you notice, the number of buffers or pages is, you know, 19,000 instead of 1,900. And so this is giving us a smaller chunk. But again, you can still use the same thing to go to the top or bottom if, if you need to. And you should be able to work through that. All right. So here is how you can change some of the settings now if you're interested in uh, downloading a really large large you know json or csv file there are a number of uh, resources out there i'm going to point you to one of them which is this site kegel and you can search for a really large uh, you know data file if you would like to play with that and so that's actually where I got that six gigabyte of file. Okay. And so I'm going to link that into the description below. If I don't, then please uh, just add a comment and I'll do that. All right. Okay. So that's how you can actually download a large, uh, large file. Now, before we go to pros and cons, uh, just a quick uh, plug. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. Uh, actually, let me show you a comment page. Uh, so... Uh, please check out two to different videos and pl uh, playlists that I have created. I post new videos every other week uh, about many tools, tips and tricks to make you a better programmer. So make sure you look at my channel page and if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel. All right, let's go back. Okay, so let's just quickly look at some of the pros and cons of this way of opening a really large file. And so the pros is it definitely is much faster actually let me go back to sublime text it finally opened this file uh, this opened the entire entire file actually 
which is in a way it's good but often it takes a long time to actually open such a large file and so the big files a plugin actually allows you to open file very quickly uh, you can also set your own buffer size and in that way we just looked at how you can change the config and there are a number of navigation tools to go to the top or bottom of the file just quickly browse through the file in itself okay and you have a less uh, worry of you know running out of memory because it's not opening the entire file there are certain cons uh, one is it doesn't work with file and open if you remember if we try oops if you try to go to file and open and open that file it won't work and so that is uh, something that you know often we have muscle memory to open that kind of uh, you know files and so that is a little different here you have to go to plugins go to big files plugin menu and open that file now it is able to read the large file but uh, it only previews a small chunk right so that is sort of a con if you would like to look at the entire file which uh, i would be surprised if you do uh, but it just basically reads and previews it if you remember it actually opens a, like a, a just a, a new file it doesn't actually show that the, the, the actual file name right it can only save the large file into small chunks because if i want to save this let's say i made some changes to my file if i want to save it back to that original file i cannot do that though i i i, I can actually save this small chunk into whatever file that i would like and so that is a sort of limitation uh, that you cannot save it back to the original file but if you look at the other way actually it is a plus side because it will allow you to split the file into a more manageable chunk so that is also an, a sort of a pro so these are pros and cons now before we uh, end this video actually there are other alternatives also out there uh, to open really large file uh, there is a tool called large text file viewer and that is also uh, a pretty good tool to open a, a really big file and you can search google and find that file uh, that uh, application if you are familiar with vim or, or a gvim you can also open a large file in gvim but as we saw it in the you know sublime text example it does take a long time to open that file uh, and if you're working with GVIM, it does have a steep learning curve. And so these are the other options which will allow you to open these kind of large files. But it has its own pros and cons as well. So I hope you guys learned something new here. Uh, just give it a try with this plugin and I'm sure you would be able to open these large, set, uh, large files in Notepad++. Now before you leave, make sure you check out uh, the playlist about Notepad++ tips and tricks. And, and other videos to learn more about Notepad++. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please like or subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if you have any question, please feel free to add that into comment section. I do reply to every single comment if I can. And so make sure you post your question or comment and I will make sure that I will reply to that. All right, thank you very much.